are delighted to be joined today by a very good friend of mine, a man who is a great governor and is a great senator, Rick Scott, wherever Rick is. Rick. Rick, thank you. Radical left agitators and anarchists in Portland have burned city streets and attacked law enforcement with bricks and cinder blocks and fireworks and explosives. And they say water, water, that's just water, or really frozen water in frozen bottles that they throw. And food, you know, they bring food, canned soup. And they say, you know, they're pros, they're pros. A lot of them are professionals, and they're professional anarchists. Canned soup, you say, oh, that's nice. Isn't that nice? I wonder what kind of soup it is, but it's meant to throw. And when they get caught, they say, no, no, this is just soup for my family. Isn't that nice? But they use it to throw. You guys understand that. I don't think you see it down here too much, but they see it in Portland. If you saw it down here, they wouldn't be throwing it long. <laughs> wouldn't be long. <laughs> Meanwhile, Democrat politicians across the nation have embraced a dangerous campaign to defund, defame, and even abolish our police. We're not abolishing our police, I can tell you that. Just days ago, crazy Nancy Pelosi referred to federal law enforcement officers as stormtroopers. That's like stormtroopers. You know what the stormtroopers are, right? Who, quote, must be stopped. They must be stopped. Your police, she's saying, must be stopped. The people that are anarchists and the people that are terrorists and all of these, but they don't have to be stopped, but she wants our police officers to be stopped. That's not happening. Even worse, Joe Biden has viciously slandered our police, if he actually knew what he was talking about, which I don't think. You don't take it personally, because he has no idea what he's talking about. He just, just says, reads whatever they put. They put it there and reads it. Sometimes he reads it and sometimes he doesn't. Pretty soon he won't be able to do that either and said that when the well-armed officers do their job, enforce the law, they become the enemy. Oh, I see. I see. They become the enemy when they enforce the law. That's nice. When asked recently if he supports cutting police budgets, Biden looked at them and said, yes, yes, absolutely. But again, I don't think he knew what, exactly what the question meant. Too complicated. And I have to say, you know, Bernie's people, we got, I think, 15 percent of our vote of the vote was Bernie people voting for us. You know why? Because they love Trump on trade. Because I stop in trade. Look at what we did with China. We took in tens of billions of dollars. You have people, radicals like representatives Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. That's a beauty. That's a real beauty. AOC, I call it AOC plus three. Ilhan Omar, who doesn't love our country. Doesn't love our country. <laughs> You're going to get me in trouble. <laughs> I won't say what you said. Last time that happened, they said they made the exact same. Don't worry. They made the exact same statement as you, and they criticized me for not getting angry at the people in the audience. You remember that? <laughs> so we won't say it, but they, they know what I mean. And Rashida Talib, that's another one. That's great. And they all mean to defund and disband police departments. That's what they want to do, defund and disband the police. Biden and Bernie's manifesto. So, you know, they agreed to a manifesto. I call it a manifesto. They don't call it that. It is a manifesto. But it's sort of strange because, you know, we thought it would go right. That's further left than Bernie ever was, if you look. Open borders. Don't go after criminals. Immediate education for illegal aliens. Health care for illegal aliens when our own people don't necessarily get it. It's crazy. But it's further left than Bernie ever was, and it's a disaster. But they would immediately go for the Second Amendment, and I'm protecting your Second Amendment, totally protecting you. <laughs> Biden supports lethal sanctuary cities, which release dangerous criminal aliens onto the streets. They protect aliens much more so than People that aren't aliens, so under the last administration, funding for local police was cut by hundreds of millions of dollars. And now they're talking about a much larger cut. Eighty percent of the state and local enforcement surveyed reported a drop in federal funding. And MS-13 was allowed to go wild in our cities during the last administration. We've taken thousands and thousands of MS-13 the hell out of our country, and we brought them back. 
And now with the wall up to 267 miles, we built 267 miles. They don't talk about it. You, ever hear, you never hear about the wall anymore. It used to be the biggest subject. Now I want the fake news media to talk about the wall. They don't want to talk about it. But it's had a great impact on the border. By the way, the Cubans, do we have any Cubans here? I was given, last time, the Bay of Pigs Award. Bay of Pigs Award. They gave me the Bay of Pigs Award, so that was a big thing. We do great with Venezuelans. We're taking care of Venezuela, and we're taking care of Cuba. Joe Biden and the radical left's outrageous campaign against law enforcement is the major reason violent crime is surging in Democrat-run cities all across the nation. Where you have a Democrat-run city, you have a city with problems. If Joe Biden is elected president, the chaos and bloodshed will spread to every community in our land. You'll have a Portland everywhere. Look at Portland. These riots, the terrorists, anarchists, they've been going on now for 64 days. So seven days ago, we sent them in. They protected the courthouse. And now we gave them a very short period of time, like days. They actually started yesterday to clean up their city and get rid of this Let's say these people, because I almost used a bad term, and I would have been in trouble with all of those people up there, right? That's the news. See, the, there they are. A couple of good ones, mostly bad ones. But we would have been in big trouble. But we clean it up, and they uh, emptied out the park last night. You know, they're supposed to invite us in, but we invited ourselves. But if they don't clean it up, we'll be sending in, uh, we'll be sending in people, and we'll take care of it in about uh, two hours. It'll take, it'll go very quickly. But they know that. In Joe Biden's America, you and your family will never be safe. Rioters and criminals will be totally protected. Law-abiding citizens will be totally disarmed. And American families will be at the mercy of the violent left-wing mob that you've been watching on television. There will be no safety, no security, no peace, no justice, no one to protect you, and no one to defend the American way of life. People like standing behind me, will not be considered prime time. With me, they are considered prime time. They're the best we have. They're the best we have. I mean it. I mean it. Under my administration, we take a different approach as president. I will always stand with the incredible men and women of law enforcement. And by the way, that means your unbelievable first responders you fight like hell for our police. And sometimes I'll see it. I'll see it on the other side. I'll see it with the Democrats. They always want to cut back from the police. We'll drive out the fanatical anti-police ideology of the radical socialists, Marxists, anarchists, and ag agitators. And I'll fight to ensure that criminals who murder our police officers immediately and quickly, with a fair trial, but quickly, receive the death penalty. Together, we will keep American families safe. We'll make every American community secure. And we will make America great again. You've heard that before. That's what's happened. And we were there until the virus came upon us. And we'll soon be there again. We'll soon be there again. And China, we have not forgotten. So, Chris and Wayne, thank you very much. It's incredible. These people, I, you know, I really, I shouldn't say this, but I will. I wanted to come down the stairs of that beautiful plane. I wanted to shake their hands. Then I wanted to hug them and kiss them. But I won't be able to do that for about maybe 90 days or so. We'll be back. We'll be back. But we want to thank you all. These are incredible people behind me. Law enforcement all over the country. They're working. Some are allowed to do their job. Many are not allowed to do their job anymore. And those are the places with trouble. But we're turning that around. We're turning it around very, very strongly. I will always be with these great people. I will always be with them. I will never let them down. And I will always be with the people of Florida. You're a special state. It's very important to me. And we're going to go on. You're seeing what's going on. Those polls are going up, up, up. We had an easy campaign, and then we got hit by the China virus, and China couldn't have been happier because they said, well, maybe we can get rid of that guy. That would be good. We don't want him as president. We like the other one very much. They would own this country. Let me tell you, if they dealt with Biden, they would own this country.
And I just want to thank again Florida, and I want to thank law enforcement. Incredible people. Thank you.